Hello everybody, this is a video tutorial on installing custom themes for Windows 7 and this one is particularly for the My Little Pony theme that I made. So first thing is off of my DeviantArt page for the theme. You'll have various links for all the necessary files that you'll need to get the theme up and running. Uh, the first and foremost is that you'll need to download the zip folder that contains all the My Little Pony contents, which I have already downloaded over here. You'll need Universal Theme Patcher. That's important for running any custom themes in Windows 7. I'll show you the link for it. And you have three download links available. All should be working. I have mine downloaded over here. And it's optional, but I really do recommend it. It's Theme Resource Changer. That's for star buttons and a few explorer buttons just to help finish it up. You have some more touches in the link for it. Now when you go to the download page for this, it'll ask for a password so you can highlight this, copy it, and when you go to download, well, I guess because I've already done it, it doesn't need to do it again. But yeah, there's the password for it, so if it prompts you, you have that so you can download it. And I've got mine over here as well. Alright, so to start things off, you'll need to unpack. If you use uh, WinRAR, that's what I use. You can extract these files to the desktop. That's usually a safe place to extract files to in general. Okay, got that. We don't need this anymore. Okay, so these three folders are what you're going to look at. First thing you'll need to do before um, installing anything else is to open up the Universal Theme Patcher folder. Here you'll see a couple of files and these two are essentially the same thing. However, one of them is for a 32-bit operating system and the other is for 64-bit. How do you tell? You go down to the Start button, go over to Computer. You can right-click that and go down to its properties. Here it'll tell you some of your system info, including the system type, and in my case, I have a 64 bit operating system. So, if you are running 64 bit, you'll be using this x64 version, and if you're using 32 bit, you'll be using the x86. Um, then you can double click to run it, say English, OK, say yes. Now, because I've already done this on my system, um, I don't need to patch it, but what you should see are three areas that you can patch. You'll click each one individually, and it'll tell you that it is patched successfully. Once it's done that for all three, you can close it out. Close this whole thing out. Then onto Theme Resource Changer. Once again, you'll have two versions, 32-bit uh, and 64-bit. So we run the appropriate one. This one is fairly straightforward. Alrighty. Has successfully installed on your computer. Press OK. With that good to go, it would be a good idea at this time to restart your computer because that is needed for the Universal Theme Patcher to take effect. Now after you've done a restart, is when we will get into the placement of the folders. But before that, what we can go ahead and do is get the cursor installed. So we go into the cursor folder and do its subfolder. You'll see this file that says install. Highlight that and right click. Press the install button. That'll automatically make it available in your cursors which should automatically load with the theme. And for the fonts, it is optional, but I recommend it just for some finishing touches. You can highlight all three, right click, and install all three at the same time. I've already done this. I'll just replace mine. All right. Now, we need to put these in their respective locations, so go down to the Start button to computer, 
to your C drive, over to Windows, scroll down to Resources, and finally Themes. Move these over. Okay, first highlight the My Little Pony folder, drag that, move to Themes, then for this, drag that, move to Themes. Cool deal. Close that out. Now if everything is working as it should be, double click the My Little Pony theme to run it. And it seems the wallpaper did not want to load with everything else. That is okay, we can deal with that. Back to the My Little Pony folder. There's some wallpapers to choose from. I put three in. You can highlight that, right click it, set as background, and there you go.